Coast Guard Sector Command. How may I direct your call? Sir. Lilac, don't you have a new baby to get home to? I'm here as long as you are, sir. You have NOAA on line four. Captain Maine here. What? How big? Okay, I'm on my way. Problem, sir? Get me snipes. Right away, sir. God, I would rather watch some of these people drown than give them CPR. <laughs> Still no show, huh? Oh, I'm sure he's on his way. You're hopeless. Hey, look, your boyfriend's here. Planes are big, babe. Trains are big. This, this is monumental. Shall we? I changed my mind. Your dad needs to get here now. Oh, really? Why's that? Uh, so somebody will introduce me to Hayden. <laughs> what? I thought you were over him. Besides, doesn't your dad like Hayden? No. The Hayden that I knew, he doesn't exist anymore. Well, he wanted you on a ship, didn't he? <laughs> to be continued. How you doing? How you guys doing? You having a good time? Enjoy yourself. How's it going, man? Hello. Hello. Good to have you all. Oh, look at this. Hello. Oh, my gosh. Please. Well, of course I can. What's your name, darling? My name is Tammy. Tammy. I love that name. Let me sign my name. Oh, there you, you go, Tammy. Can you sign mine, too, please? Sure. What's your name? Renee. I love that name. I love that name, too. These boats don't look any safer Thank than the old you. ones. Just for show, darling. Real bad boys are down below. Hi, Dad. Amy. Let me guess. Work. Well, there's a calving glacier up in Greenland they want me to investigate. Dad, the ship is amazing. 
There's nothing to worry about. Just... Look, it's not the outside of the vessel that I'm concerned about, honey. Look, we've had this conversation. I don't want you on that boat. We agreed that this was good for me. Yeah, well, that's before I realized the rush job that they had committed to in order to make this anniversary date. Dad, did the ship pass inspection? Barely. Five minutes, sir. Uh, honey, I, I gotta go. We'll check back in later, huh? Okay. Bye-bye. Something wrong, sir? No, it's fine. It's great to see you. Good to see you, too. Welcome aboard the Titanic, too. Thank you. Have a good day. You, too. <laughs> Amy. Glad you hey. can make it. Thanks. Yeah, everything looks really nice. You did a good job. How's your dad doing? He's good. We'll see you around. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like, like to thank, thank you all for coming, for joining me on this day that'll go down in this nation's history. A day where an eye to the future triumphed over our defeats of the past. A day where the lives lost on board this ship's predecessor were remembered with the creation of the greatest, fastest, most sophisticated ship ever created, the Titanic II. <laughs> Standing next to me here, I'd like to introduce you to the man at the helm of this vessel, our ship's captain, Captain Will Howard. Please, uh, I ask that all of you enjoy yourselves as we embark on our maiden voyage across the Atlantic Ocean and into the history book. five minutes ago. Boring. Don't let Doc catch you up there. Passengers aboard, sir. Elmer. Let's make history. Aye, sir.
Mission Control, this is uh, Coast Guard 6565, over. We read you, 6565. How we looking, Cap? We're going to be landing in a couple of minutes. In the meantime, I have the Coast Guard on standby. Have another one of your bad feelings, Captain? Well, you can say that. Snipes, 2 o'clock. Yes, sir. I see it, sir. Coast Guard's here. Really? Shakes. Dr. Kim Patterson, Noah. Nice to meet you. Whew. You're wondering why I asked for you instead of any other sector, Commander. It's because your reputation precedes you. And I need someone to take me seriously when I tell them we're standing on a ticking time bomb. Well, I'm listening. The wave from yesterday's collapse was felt as far as Baffin Island in northern Canada. The piece of ice that broke off this glacier was about the size of Manhattan. Imagine what a piece the size of Rhode Island would do. Well, I imagine it would push a swell halfway across the Atlantic. Try all the way across. These mass balance measurements show that when the temperatures warm, the balance tips. The ice begins calving and retreating. These geodetic images tell us that the glacier we're standing on now has thinned over 60 meters in the past year. That's unprecedented. Exactly. I think there's something that you need to see. All of you. Of course, there's no such thing as global warming, right? Tell me what the hell I'm looking at. Yesterday's collapse. Jesus. You ever throw a pebble in a pond, Captain? Watch the ripples spread outward? If yesterday's collapse was a pebble, the next one will be a cannonball. Now picture the Atlantic Ocean as the pond. your masterpiece? Yeah, I was, as a matter of fact. Aren't you gonna be late for your party? Well, that's my ship. I figured they'd wait for me. Besides, I kind of like to make a late entrance. You know, I called you. Yeah. It only took you six months. Well, your father punched me in the nose. What'd you expect? He caught you joyriding on his boat at 2 a.m. I think he had a right. Still a daddy's girl, huh? Oh, look who's talking. I didn't mean it. I was really sorry to hear about your dad. I know how close you were. Don't mention it. So, it looks like he left you in charge. CEO of Walsh Industries. I always thought you'd end up in the Coast Guard. Yeah, well, 
When you're offered the keys to an empire, it's kind of hard to say no. You still got the uh, earrings I gave you? Yeah. Well, I have a lot of earrings, so. Yeah, well, I like those. You could have called me back, you know. And then what, Hayden? Pretend like everything was the way it was? Let's face it, you cared a lot more about your money and your boats than you did about me. Yeah, well, I did need your uh, paranoid father looking over my shoulder my whole life. I wasn't talking about my father. I was talking about us. You chose a different life. That's fine, I understand. Besides, it looks like you're pretty happy with your decision. Well, uh, you better get back inside. You don't want to miss your party. Flying, sir. She'll have us to the Titanic by dawn. Well done, Elmer. Keep her steady. Water readings at 31 degrees. Ironic, isn't it? How's that? The same reading as 100 years ago. Well, fortunately for us, we have enough lifeboats this time. Plus, I think we're going to avoid that ice field as well. <laughs> yes, sir. Listen, sir, I, uh, I need to remind you, we haven't fully stretched her legs yet. If we should need to speed up... For Relax, her. Elmer. She may look like her predecessor. But underneath, she's anything but. Yes, sir. How long do we have before it collapses? It's hard to say. But when it does, the entire North Atlantic will be devastated by the shockwave.
The NOAA is tracking it, Admiral, but we don't have a lot of time. You have to issue an immediate Atlantic-wide tsunami alert. Already done, James. The warning's being issued as we speak. Good. Good. We're going to need the Navy and the Coast Guard, the National Guard, everybody we can get our hands on. When this thing hits, it's going to hit hard. How much time do we have? <sighs> well, from what I could see, we don't have any time at all. Get me through to the warning center. They're going to need the DART readings ASAP. we got to find out how fast this thing is moving. And have them relay back to me all the data. we got to move fast. Sir, what about ships at sea? Well, they should be fine. The tsunami only forms up when it gets close to land. Ships at sea should be unaffected. Uh, that's not entirely true, Captain. Ships at the surface may be fine, but everything underneath will be affected. This is the North Atlantic. Ice? Exactly. The base of an iceberg can reach depths hundreds of feet below the surface, so if the wave hits, things can get pushed. All right, see where you're going. All right. Uh, Admiral. Listen, we need to issue a radio alert to every ship in the Atlantic. Tell them to steer clear of any signs of ice. I repeat, tell them to stay away from the icebergs. Consider it done, James. Uh, one more thing. Do you have any eyes on the Titanic, too? We're watching everybody, James. What do you need? Let's see what the Navy has in the area. Tell them we're going to have to get them into position. Copy that. Sir, we've been redirected. Where to? Latitude, 40 degrees, 46 north. Longitude, 50 degrees, 14 west. All right, confirm settings, plot the chart. Aye, sir. Let's get this cigar smoking. This is the Coast Guard. There is an ocean-wide tsunami alert in the North Atlantic. Repeat, there is an ocean-wide tsunami alert in Captain the Howard. North Atlantic. Did you know Titanic was warned six times about icebergs and still did nothing? Ignorance is bliss, right? Anyway, about Hayden. <phone rings> Infirmary. Ladies, I need one of you on deck. Uh, Doc, we we're kind of in the middle of an important conversation. Does it matter? I need one of you on deck to start escorting passengers down to the lower decks. We're on it. Why are they escorting passengers down to the lower decks? Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. Um, could all of the passengers aboard Titanic 2 please uh, exit these doors right here, head to your left to the elevators, and go down to the lower deck at this time? This is strictly a safety precaution. Again, no need to worry. Thank you. How long ago? Just now, sir. The Coast Guard has issued an ocean-wide alert. Coast Guard? That's great. What the hell caused it? An ice glacier collapsed off the coast of Greenland. We're well prepared for icebergs. It's not the iceberg, Mr. Walsh. It's the 800 mile an hour tsunami that has everyone concerned. How much time? Noah's mapping travel time now, sir. Stay in line with the Coast Guard. Captain, if this thing's gonna pass right beneath us. We're in deep water, we won't even feel it. Captain, Coast Guard's with the VHF monitors. This is Captain Howard. 
Captain Howard, this is Captain James Main, U.S. Coast Guard. We're listening, Captain. Do you see any ice fields in your area? That's a negative, sir. Sir, I need you to reverse direction of your ship. Sir? This wave is moving with incredible force. Now, any ice in its path will be moved along with it. Now, I need you to head west as quickly as your engines will carry you. The warmer the water, the less chance you'll have of running into any ice. For God's sakes, James, I know looks can be deceiving, but can I remind you this is Titanic 2? This ship is equipped with state-of-the-art ice detectors that'll sound if we get within 500 yards of an ice cube. Hayden, this wave is clocking in at 843 miles per hour. Now, 500 yards isn't gonna make a damn bit of difference. Now, you get hit by any ice, it's gonna tear your ship in half. Do as he says. Yes, sir. How much time do we have? What's the time to impact? 15 minutes at most. You got 15 minutes at most. Jesus. What's our distance? Northeast, 40 degrees, and headed our way, sir, about 13 miles. How much time? Any minute, sir. Dive! Sir, there's Do no it! time! Captain, take her to 50 knots. I'm already pushing 40. It's not fast enough. Mr. Walsh, can I remind you that these engines have not been thoroughly broken in yet? If we push them... She's built for speed. She can handle it. Take her to 50. Yes, sir. Take her to 50 knots. Yes, sir. Crazy in here. What's happening? Weather concerns, I guess. What? They turned the boat around? Now they're speeding up over weather concerns? That's all they told me. Yeah, something's wrong. Amy, this is Dad. Listen, uh, listen to me. Something has happened. There's a tsunami. It's headed south through the Atlantic. It's going to reach your ship in a matter of minutes. Now, I want you to pay attention. Now, stay off the lower decks. There's ice in the water. It's being pushed in your direction. I need you to get as many people to the upper decks as you can. Just keep in the center of the ship. Get away from the railings. And if anything happens, just be calm. Let's get to a lifeboat, all right? Be careful, honey. Your daughter? Um, she's a nurse on board. Sir, we're running extremely low with fuel, sir. Where can you refuel? Canadian Coast Guard Regional Operations Center in St. John, sir. OK, get there fast. Yes, sir. We're at 
50 knots, Captain. Very good. Sir, we just lost engine one. Shut him down. We can't. We have to. We could blow another one. We can't stop this ship. This ship has three more engines. Exactly. You want to blow all three? And I both know that this ship's engines have not been properly broken in. They need to cool down. The turbines. The turbines add additional power, but we can't run on them alone. We're being pulled. Sound the alarms! Titanic 2, this is Captain James Main, U.S. Coast Guard. What is your situation? Sir, we've experienced an iceberg collision. We need immediate assistance. Captain, I think we have another problem. Water fast. The entire starboard side is folded inward. There are cracks up and down the hull. It crushed the life ramps to the boats on the starboard side. 
How many of them? All of them. That's half the lifeboats on board. What about the boats on deck? Those are showboats. They don't even float. The bulkheads. The watertight bulkheads were designed for a head-on collision. We never anticipated being hit from the side. What are you saying? She'll continue to list. As we take in water, she'll tilt further and further to starboard. How long? Two hours, maybe three if the turbines. And if they don't? And the ship goes down. The entire thing will be underwater within 30 minutes. Okay, begin the evacuation, fill all the boats that we have. Women and children first. Looks like history's repeating itself. Readings from the Helheim Glacier are picking up a number of minor quakes beneath the area of the break-off. If they're correct, it means the ice is continuing to destabilize. So what are you telling me, Doctor? If it collapses, a massive landslide of ice into the Atlantic will create a mega-tsunami that will dwarf the last one. How big? Everything in its path will be swept away. You need to get the people off the Titanic, too, and out of the water. James, we're deploying search and rescue now. Navy's got a destroyer about 40 miles west. It'll reach the Titanic within an hour. Admiral, that ship does not have an hour. Now, we need planes and we need choppers in the area immediately. Captain, Titanic is fitted with more than enough lifeboats. We may not have seen the end of this glacier collapse, sir. And, uh, if there's another wave, those lifeboats aren't going to do anybody any good. Hadley, my daughter's on that ship. I understand. Thirty minutes, sir. What about the refueling? C-130 is on its way now, sir, but we're pushing it. OK. 
Okay, we'll tell them to refuel us and then carry forward to the ship. Yes, sir. Patterson. On every available SAR aircraft we have. Get them in the air now. Sir. What is it, Lilac? I think you need to see this. This is a pre existing dark model, right? No, sir. That's a live feed.
everybody in? All right, everybody, hang on tight. We're deploying. Come in. This is the U.S. Coast Guard. Over. Captain Maine? Captain, talk to me. We're going down on the starboard side, 30 degrees list. Okay, Captain, you need to get your people out of the lifeboats. Half the lifeboat ramps were crushed on impact. The lifeboats are death traps. Captain, there's another wave coming.
What just happened? I don't know. I think the turbine's blue. The whole ship's gonna be underwater in less than two. You're bleeding. I'm fine. You need stitches. Tell you what. If we get out of this alive, I'll let you stitch me up all you want. Come on, we're gonna lift you up. Ready? Step on my hands. Come on. On three. Ready? One, two, three! Push! Come on! Keep pushing! Okay, it's stuck. The shaft must have collapsed. This isn't good. Listen to me. Listen to me now. Help is on the way. So am I. Just... I want you to stay away from the lifeboats. Just stay out of the lifeboats. What? What do you mean? Honey, there's another wave coming. It's bigger than the last one. When it comes, it's gonna be big. What? When it comes, it's gonna wipe away everything that's in the water, including the lifeboats. They're not gonna make it. So your best bet is to stay on the ship. Now, the wave will roll it, but it's strong, and uh, the wave won't take it with it. James, how much time do we have? Uh, about 30 minutes. Listen, Hayden, are there any diving tanks on board? Yeah, the diving facility. Can you get to them? I think so. Good, we'll get to them. Uh, hang on until we get to you. You, uh, you made me believe you were an honorable man once, hey? I want you to make me believe it again. Get my daughter to those tanks. Dad, I'm so scared. I know, sweetie. It's all right. It's all right. Just do what I told you. It's going to be fine. If I don't make it... Don't! Don't even say that. Well, it's going to be fine. We'll be there, honey. We're on our way. She stands a chance.
How far? We're close, sir. About 30 miles or so from the crash site. Are we gonna make it? It's gonna be close. You okay? Yeah. What happened? We capsized. The whole ship flooded. Can you move? Yeah, yeah. We gotta get up. Try to stand up. Okay. Come on, give me your hand. It's freezing. Okay. We gotta get out of here. Give me your hand. You okay? Someone's leaning against the door. Oh, what are we gonna do? The water's gonna rise fast. The whole thing's gonna be underwater after five minutes. Okay, we gotta get this on you. Turn around. Ready? Put your arms through. Facility, they'd be right about there. It's no use. We'll budge. Okay. Every diving harness has an emergency alert unit. How does it work? It sends out a distress signal on our SAR honing frequencies. We got it. Okay. The hate in the water's freezing. Don't worry. The suit will keep you warm. In one hour, two. I think the temperature may be the least of my worries. Sir, just picked up a lost diver beacon on the SAR frequency. Looks like it's coming from Titanic 2. Look. How low can you get me? Okay, listen. I'm gonna take off the wetsuit. Not a chance. Hayden. Forget about it. It's not enough. Hayden, you're gonna freeze to death. I'm gonna drown before that. Uh, okay, then we're gonna share. We're gonna share the air tank. We can take turns breathing. Okay. Why? I'm gonna freeze to death anyway. Then what's your plan? Okay. Listen to me. The ship has air pockets, watertight rooms. It's gonna slow the sinking. This tank holds about 30 minutes of air. You bring as long as you can. Help can be here by then. Wait, wait, wait. I don't. They probably already gotten the signal. Hold on a second. They can find you. What about you? I drowned. If they get here soon enough, I could be revived. No. This is the only way. No, 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 Hayden. Listen to me, damn it. Be logical. If we share the tank, I'm dead anyway from the cold, and you're half out of air. What well, is cold to turn my blood like ice water? I have a better chance of survival in this kind of temperature. But I don't have any chance if you're dead too. Okay. This is my fault, Amy. No, no. Come on. Let's turn the air on. this. Leave it slack. What's this for? Find my way back. Now, we got a thousand feet there. Just let it out. As long as you hold on to that, I'll be fine. What happens if I run out of rope? Well, then I'm dead. Just cut me loose. Tell me when, sir. No!
Hadi gel. Hadi buyur hadi gel. Hadi gel. Hadi gel. Hadi gel. Hadi gel.
to be found Standing at the water's edge Sometimes I feel your presence near and I just wonder what it all means I was a fool to believe that we could live forever and now
tender innocence. I tried to.